Didn't Helio Castroneves and Jill DeFerrin originate in England with their IndyCar stuff as well? Yes. Why exactly is that the case that a lot of people's careers begin in Britain? Because, for, at least for the Brazilians, our dream was always race in Formula One. And the best teams in Europe are in, in England, and you go there to race the English Championship or then the European Championships, and the good teams are located in England. And so that's where you live there I mean, a few years. Huh. That's pretty cool. So you were hoping to go into F1 at first? Yes, that was my dream. Who is your racing hero in F1? I have two at the time. I think Nelson Piquet and Ayrton Senna, the two Brazilians. When I was five years old, I started to pay attention. Piquet was the best one. And then when I was like 10, Senna was the best one. So those two, I was, I was very lucky that throughout 10 years, they were dominating and each of one of them won the world championship three times. So it was nice. It is. Did you see Fittipaldi pull off those wins at Indianapolis? Yes, I did. Yeah, I remember very well. What was your reaction when he won those races, knowing you're Brazilian as well? I was great. I used to cheer for him a lot. And I think he's an icon for the Brazilian uh, racing because he won, was the first one to win the Formula 1 World Championship. So he came to US, nobody knew about Indy cars, and he learned, he teaches us in Brazil all about Indy car and start to make the passion. And in the end of the day, he's one of the reasons why I'm here in US because, you know, he, he paved the way for the Brazilians to move to, to US, you know. So my dream was going to race in Formula One was very difficult to find a good ride. So because of him, because I already knew IndyCar, I've already been following IndyCar for a long time. And then I went uh, to US and, and, you know, I kept, uh, I started racing IndyCars, following his, his steps. Or following his tire marks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are those trophies behind you? Uh, those are some of trophies that I won here in the US. What's the one above you that says winner with the mountains in the background? Uh, oh, that was the Denver, Denver Grand Prix. Let me tell you, which year? 2003. That was my first year in Denver. Yes. And are all those helmets you've worn? Yes. Awesome. Fire away, Brendan. Just wondering what. What's your favorite car? Do you have a favorite car, like a chassis, or a favorite car you've driven? Uh, I love the the, the Lola Indy car, oh, yeah. the the Chef car. In in two thousand seven, there was the Panos. I think that car was pretty pretty nice as well. For sure, the the Panos uh, Champ car that they built for two thousand seven series year was a very good car, very fast. Uh, not expensive, and I think that was a great car. Great to hear. Well, who do you think is the greatest Formula One champion, in your opinion? I think there is no greatest. I think the times change, and every time there is the best driver for the period of time, you know. Um, you cannot compare... Like people say Schumacher or Lewis Hamilton, but now, now in three or four years after Verstappen winning so many championships, they're going to say Verstappen. But you never, cannot never forget about the old times that uh, it was much harder to win championships. Like I can say another Brazilian and, and I mean, Jack Stewart. I mean, I have a big admiration for him. He won the world championship and became a team owner and won as a team owner and then sold his team and <laughs> made, made a lot of money. So those guys, I think what, just not what, not on the track, but what they do outside the track is very important as well. So. What's your favorite racing movie? Le Mans, for sure. Yeah. Uh, that was like a 80s or 90s movie. It was very cool. 
Nice, nice. My favorite's Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder. It's, it was cool. But Le Mans, I think I was so young and, and watching that movie, Porsche against the Ferrari, and I mean, that was a cool movie. Yeah. Far away, Brendan. What's, do, what do you find the most challenging, like driving uh, race cars? Like, what's, what's the trickiest sort of thing with drive racing? I mean, I think uh, not diminish, not saying bad things about uh, today. I think like the Lola Champ car when it joined 2001, 2002, that was for, sh for sure the most challenging car to drive because we had like 950 horsepower, maybe 980 in qualified, a lot of power. Didn't have tire warmers, didn't have power steering. You have stick shift like to actually shift and have to downshift blip or healing toe to downshift to actually have to drive the car. Well, so it was a very difficult car to drive to, you know, and nowadays with the cars, they're getting pedal shifts that in the end of my career was pedal shifts, but pedal shifts and the suspension is so good and everything's so good that the balance of the car is much nicer, the drivability of the engine and all those things, you know. I think on the past it was like very hard to drive, you know, and maybe if I, I didn't drive in the 80s, but probably a car that was on the 80s or 90s was even harder to, to drive, you know. Yeah, for sure. So that's all we have for now, but we thank you for coming on. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bruno. Thank you, Bruno. Yeah, thank you, so, nice to meet you. So one more thing before we clock out. Uh, how can your journey impact future generations of race fans? Oh, my journey? Yeah. You, you, hmm. I think I, I like to, uh, uh, people to look at me and, and, and inspire new kids that are passionate for racing. Uh, I think to look at two things that I had in my career is determination and grit. I think if you have a lot of determination, grit, and work hard for what you want, you are going to be able to get it, you know. Without it, it's very hard to achieve any success in, in, in racing or in life. Yeah, for sure. All right, we thank you for coming on. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Take us out, Brendan. I'd like to thank Bruno for coming on today and, and co-host Doug Kenny. Thank you. Thank you.